Hi everybody, this is AJ with Car Inspected. Today we are in Etobicoke looking at this 2006 Porsche Cayenne with its 4.5 liter turbocharged V8, white in color, with suede interior, leather interior but suede colored. It's got 260,000 kilometers on it. quick little walk around. As we walk around we do find a couple of things visually. Uh, the left rear tail light is cracked here. The right rear tail light has moisture in it. There are a couple nicks and scratches throughout on the bumper cover here around. And you can see that the has taken some beating. The lamp starting to delaminate in the rear window area, as you can see a little bit. Uh, as a note, there is no wiper in the rear wiper. It is just the case for it, so don't turn that on. Uh, it appears to be slightly broken as well. But throughout, there's a couple chips, some bruises, showing its age a little bit. There are some spots in the doors that have been chipped or starting to show some, some issue. Nothing big inside on this door. I'll show you the other door has a little bit of issue. A little bit of stuff here. There is some touch up and rust starting around the handles on the driver's side. So you can see. Uh, also, this door is slightly misaligned. It feels like the um, hinges, hinge pins are starting to wear a little bit. You can compare it to the other side, which I'll show you in a minute, but it's not, not perfect on this side. And it does squeak and stuff when you open it. Now the front fascia. Uh, the hood is popped right now, that's why you see that gap. But there are some, some scratches along the hood area, the top of the fender. The uh, front lights are starting to fog over a little. That comes with age. There's no major damage in the front fascia, but it does have its share of rock chips, etc. Uh, underneath here, there are a couple of broken parts in the, the covers underneath, as you can see. The hood and fender here are slightly different color. And there's a little bit of a plastic alignment issue at the bottom here that you can see. And again, some scratches, touched up dings and dents along the way. There is no rust around the door handles on the passenger side, which is good. But this rear door here, I'll show you. On the inside, there is, is some rust that's been touched up, painted over, starting to come through. And there was some, uh, paint thickness verification there were was a variety of thicknesses on the vehicle so there has been spots that's been touched up and repaired uh, I'll just highlight those details those differences in the report nothing major but there's definitely been some repaint spots around the vehicle I checked all the windows they all seem to be uh, original the rear windows do seem to be original as well I'll open this up. A little harder to see with the tint, but they are all matching. There, and there, and there. While we're back here, we'll go look through the rear storage compartment. It does have a nice big WeatherTech mat installed right now. The privacy cover is in place and does work and is not ripped, torn, anything like that. Uh, under the WeatherTech mat, the carpet is in pretty nice shape. The WeatherTech has probably been there for a while. And in this compartment here, we find the spare tire, the well, which is in good shape. No signs of issue. There's another VIN verification right there. All the tools are in place, etc. So we are good there. 
And there's a couple uh, little storage compartment on this side, which is nice, nice and clean, nothing broken. And some of the electronics are behind this side. Again, nothing broken, no, no issues. We look, the hatch door. It's a little dirty. A couple of stains along, along there. You can see the plastic. Nothing's broke or anything like that, but it is a little stained. So a little bit of rust behind the license plate starting right there. The rear window does open separately. Seems to work okay. No issues there. As you can see, all the weather strips in place, everything's fine. Does work all right. We continue our window tour. As you said, they are original. Um, the windshield is in good shape. Here's another VIN verification right there. Um, there is one chip in the windshield on the passenger side. Just about here. Uh, this windshield has probably been replaced. It's a Benson. But it looks like it was installed properly, so that's not an issue. But that chip could be down the road. A couple of chips in the roof area, a little rusty. But for the most part, the roof is in pretty good shape. We'll uh, go back. Well, we'll start with the wheels, tires. This is the pass, the driver's side front. It's in pretty decent shape. The rim. It does have a little bit of curb rash on it. No major damage or anything like that, but it, it still it does have a little bit of that curb rash on there. Uh, the tires were produced in 2016, and they are all matching Michelins. The tread is okay. It's uh, about 7.30 seconds. There is a little bit of signs of cracking starting, as you can see along there. The brakes, the rotors, is the condition there they've been sitting for a bit as you can tell they'll probably clean up okay but there's not a very big lip or anything so they're not too worn we look at the brake pads which i don't really be able to see in the video so they are i'd say they're probably 30 percent left or so they're still good but uh, they will need to be changed within a couple thousand kilometers probably i don't see any issues over here with any of the cv boots anything like that everything looks pretty good under here uh, I don't see any signs of damage, anything like that. Go around to the passenger side front tire. And we find the same, the matching Michelin with equal tread depth of about 730 seconds. Built in 2016. Uh, this rim does have a little bit more damage on it. Some more curb rash. I don't see any structural issues or anything like that, but it is, it is rashed up a bit. Uh, brakes are in similar condition as to the other side. They're probably 30% or so left on those pads. And again, I don't see any any issues in here. Looks pretty good. Same thing with the underside. Uh, I don't see any real issues of any rust that throw up any red flags, anything like that. Fairly solid. A couple of the covers are broken here and there, but no real big issues. Here we are at the passenger rear tire. Uh, we find, again, a matching Michelin, produced in 2016. There you have it. And uh, with about 7.30 seconds of tread, just like the rest. And it's even tread wear, so there's no signs of alignment issues, anything like that, in the front tires or the rear, so. But again, there is a bit of cracking starting on the rubber here. This rim has a good amount of curb rash as well. A little bit of a chunk taken out of the sidewall here of this tire. And the brakes, the rotors are in similar condition to the front. There is a bit of a lip, not too bad. They might probably be okay for a while. But these rear pads are, uh, they're similar to the front. They're probably 35, maybe 40%. 
I'm going to show you the last driver's side rear wheel. Again, we do find the Michelin. Michelin. This one was produced in 2016 as well. Uh, however, it does have a little bit more tread on it. I think this one came in at 830 seconds. So this one, a little less wear on it. And again, treads are nice. This one doesn't have as much cracking either, so it's probably been stored for a while or something like that. But again, there is a bit of carb rash on there. You see some, just some chipping from the from general road wear. And like I said, some, some of this road rash damage. Rotors are in similar condition to the other side, as well as pads. <coughs> Let me take a look at the interior. And we find here's the driver's side door panel, which is decent. I see no, no cause for issue or anything like that. The driver's seat doesn't show any rips or tears. There's a little bit of little dirt. Well, it's not dirt, it's just from use. You can see where the, the stress uh, wrinkles are starting, things like that. But it's not ripped or torn or anything. The carpets, uh, all the carpets are wet. I'm going to ask the dealer if he's recently shampooed them or something, but they are all wet. There's a little bit of a smell to them, so they've been wet for a bit. <clears throat> but everything seems to work. Dashboard is in good shape. No tears or damage or anything like that. A little bit of scuff here on the top. Uh, everything does seem to work. I'm going to dash on real quick and we have, there we see, we have 260,299 kilometers on it. Uh, we'll start it up while we're in here. A little slow in the startup. But all this does work. Radio, uh, you do have your telephone works. Uh, sent all this info, every trip, everything does seem to seem to work correctly. And as you can hear, the radio does work. Tested the air conditioning and heat. That all works. You can see we're down to low. It does blow nice and cold. And then we're up to hot. Uh, seat heaters, they all work. Everything seems to be okay. No issues here. Cup holders are in good shape. The wood grain is nice. No real issues. The sunroof works. As you can see, headliner, I don't see any major issues. All these Mirrors are in place, lights work, everything like that looks pretty good. No issues. The suede is nice, it's not stained anywhere that I can see. Uh, the cover also for the is good. go to the rear there's the driver's side rear door the panel is in good shape no signs of issue the privacy screens are in place and nothing's ripped or torn or anything like that door sills have some minor scuffing but nothing major here we are the back seat uh, the seat itself is in pretty good shape no real issues. The center of it, though, is a bit torn up here. Uh, this is by the, the cup holder armrest area, which is, when down, you can't see it, but it is, it's all in good shape under there. But like I said, this is, is a little ripped and torn. The carpets, uh, oh, this center console area, there's a cover that's broken, missing. For that, you can see it should be here, but it is missing. However, these cup holders are in place, no issues. And carpets, like I said, the back is slightly, the whole thing is slightly damp. That's why I think it was probably shampooed recently, but I will ask the dealer to be sure.
and the seats do fold down as they should. I tested them all. Here's the passenger side rear door panel. Again, in similar condition to the other side, no major issues. The privacy screen is in place and looking good. No worries. And we see this side of the seat is in nice shape. Nothing broken, no rips, no tears. And again, they do fold forward just as they should. Carpet, again, a little damp. And here's the other side of the mat. Slight stainage, nothing major, but a little bit. Uh, a couple, little bit of paint or something right there. There's the driver's side, I mean the passenger side, front door. And we don't see any signs of wear and tear. Uh, uh, there's a little wear actually on the door, on the switches area here, as you can see. We find this seat is in a little better condition than the driver's seat. A little less wear, as to be expected. But nothing major, no cracks or anything like that. The leather is still pretty soft. Uh, this carpet, there's a bit of a stain here. Uh, a little bit there as well. And this is the other side of the mat, a little dirty. But again, as to be expected. We look in the glove box. Uh, well, out here we don't see any damage. The leather is decent. Look in the glove box and we see it is all there. There is a random plug-in, which I don't know what that was supposed to plug into, but there's nothing there. Um, it might be an old security system or something. But there is no manual in the vehicle. I will ask the dealer if he, there is one provided. Sometimes they leave it out of the vehicle but we will check. Uh, there is this auxiliary jack that is installed. And we'll take a quick look under the hood. Which, one thing to note is the strut rod does not hold the hood up anymore. Does need a new strut rod. A little bit of, probably from uh, winter spraying under the hood, a little dirty. For the most part, the engine compartment is just to be expected with 260,000 kilometers. There is a bit of an oil leak present. Um, nothing huge or major, but it is. looks like it's probably the like, probably valve cover gasket or something like that that's been seeping for a while. It's nothing new. You can see the old oil on there. Nothing on this side though. Uh, it's hard to see in the video, but uh, the belt is down there. The accessory belt does look okay from what I can see. The one cover on this side is cracked right there. That is just a cover though. It is not an engine component. That's an issue. Other than that, I don't see any signs of leakage or issue. Uh, there is a cover that's missing here over the power steering pump. And also a cover that's missing here. But I did test the, while we're here, I did test the coolant and it was fine, no oil, no signs of any issues. Uh, and you were good to negative 43. I tested the oil, uh, it came back green, it was okay. It was fairly low, so that should be addressed, but, uh, but it looked okay. And under this cover here was, uh, is your brake master cylinder. The fluid came back as 4% uh, humidity. So it is a bit high in the humidity level. Could probably use a fluid flush. But other than that, it is what it is. I'm going to start the vehicle and come back out so you can hear the engine running. And then we'll, uh, we'll take her for a test drive and see how she does. So 
So here is the engine running. A little bit of injector tick there. It has warmed up now, I've been running it. But it was it was a little noisy, a couple little pulley noise, things like that upon an initial startup. But it's not too bad now. Uh, oh, I tested the battery. It came back fine at 12.34 volts. And it was charging at uh, 14.6. So your charging system is good as well. The lug for that is right there. So there you have it, one last walk around of this 2006 Porsche Cayenne. And as usual, I wanna thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time. Thank you.